Landowners from the Whitefish Area Property Owners Association worried about the potential negative impact a proposed Sandpiper and Line 3 replacement route could have on their community gathered today to discuss how they could prevent a potential disaster on the Mississippi headwaters. Uh, Logan Gay has the story. We're opposed to the line, to the route, no question about it. The Whitefish Area Property Owners Association is concerned about the impact of a proposed Sandpiper and Line 3 replacement route that could disrupt the quality of their water and natural resources. Now they want to bring line, the new Line 3 into this Sandpiper corridor, which would come through our doorstep um, on the northern part. And you saw some of the maps to indicate that. Our concern is we have a number of streams, creeks, rivers, those things, all part of the larger Pine River watershed, which is a half a million acres of land and water. A Canadian-based company called Enbridge owns the pipeline. Potential oil spill seems to be one of the main concerns for many of the Whitefish property owners in attendance. Some of them are large, like the Kalamazoo spill. One in Grand Rapids was a large spill. There was a fire in Cohasset, which is just eight miles west of Grand Rapids. So we've had the experience in Minnesota, and we know the experience elsewhere. A landowner from Michigan named Jeff Ensko attended the seminar to talk about his experiences with Enbridge's Line 6B replacement. Devastating to watch uh, the trees that you love so much in the back of your property be destroyed. Um, to have your life uh, uprooted and disturbed uh, for such a long time is a painful, emotional experience. According to Forbes, Enbridge employs over 8,000 people, but members of the Whitefish Area Property Owner Association believe that the pipeline will have little economic impact on their community. One can argue all the jobs and all these kinds of things. The truth of the matter is these companies employ you know, construction people who work with those pipeline companies year-round, but they move with the construction site. According to the Enbridge website, the safety of communities and the environment is their most important duty. In Cross Lake, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Whitefish Area Property Owners Association plans to continue the conversation at another seminar in the next few weeks. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.